What I've invented was a simple process to make high-powered lenses. So the process is quite simple. By mixing a solution of silicone um, gel, we extract a little droplet, on, put it onto a flat cover slip, and flip it over and allows gravity to pull it into a nice parabolic shape, thereby forming a nice lens. This method is different because we remove any grinding and more processes that's required for making a lens. It's very easy to do. In fact, I would think that any, anyone at home could do it. It costs around less than a cent to make a single lens. Well, I think the first time we had the lens attached to a smartphone uh, and we were able to image down to you know, hair follicles and sweat pores, um, that was very exciting. And the next step from there, that was we were able to actually image single yeast cells. Um, that was really um, a very exciting moment. It will be very useful for the developing world because of the cost of lenses that is required to do microscopy images. And what this has done was to reduce the cost by um, two orders of magnitude. Having this microscopy tool allows um, health workers to be able to take images at remote sites and transfer it through the internet to um, doctors elsewhere. A farmer could actually take the lens onto the field, attach it to their smartphone, take a photograph of the pest and send it to the lab for diagnostics. So no longer we are very much restricted by the lenses you buy off the shelf. What you can really do now is actually make it at home and tailor it to your purpose.